Uh, hey guys, uh, in this video we will see how do we design FIR filters using window technique in Scilab. The command to design FIR filter is WFIR. Uh, let me put it in a full full screen view. Okay, so as you can see the command is WFIR and its, its syntax is something like this. The first argument is F type. F type here is filter type. Uh, if you are designing a low pass filter, it is LP, high pass filter HP, band pass filter BP and stop, uh, band stop filter SP. And this should be in a single quote. And the next argument is F order. F order is the filter order. And next argument is the cutoff frequency. Fourth argument is the window type. And the fifth argument is a filter parameter. We use this if at all we are using a KSR window. Otherwise, we will make it as zero. Okay. And the output from this uh, command is H which is the impulse response H omega is the magnitude frequency response and omega which is nothing but frequency in radians so uh, uh, we'll see the specifications now uh, we, uh, we need to design a 31 order low pass FIR filter using Hamming window with a cutoff frequency of 2 kilohertz and sampling frequency is 16 kilohertz uh, uh, what is that we need first argument what we need is filter type so F, what is F type here it's a low pass filter so it has to be in a single quote LP what's the second argument filter order so what is the order they have asked the order they have asked is 31 order so n is 31 here third argument is cutoff frequency and cutoff frequency should be in normalized form I will let you know how do we put it in normalized form uh, what's the cutoff frequency in this case it's 2 kilohertz but we have to normalize it that we shall see later what's the next argument next argument is window type so we have to use Hamming window here and what is that I need to put for Hamming window in a single quote HM and the next you just ignore it since we are not using the KSR window right so we'll try to put it in Scilab to design I'll have to put it as a comment to design FIR filter using window so you'll see clear close uh, first is the order what is the order 31 right cutoff frequency FC is 2 kilohertz and sampling frequency FS is what is the sampling frequency we have sampling frequency is 16 kilohertz 16,000 now uh, we have to normalize the frequency cutoff frequency Omega C we call it as Omega C normalize is nothing but the given frequency which is the cutoff frequency has to be divided by the sampling frequency which is capital fs okay this is this is normalized frequency so the command wfir takes only normalized frequency so that's the reason we are normalizing it okay so we have cutoff frequency we have uh, order and uh, everything else we shall put it in directly in the command itself so H, HW, HW and W, H of Omega and Omega basically. So W, FIR of first is a filter type which is LP. Second is the order, comma, capital N. Third argument is cutoff frequency which is WC. Fourth argument is window type. Here it has Hamming window, HM and the last argument is 0 space 0 ok so now we'll display the impulse response uh, display impulse response or it's basically a filter coefficient filter coefficient of the specification is so where is it it is in H now we can even display the frequency response also magnitude frequency response also we'll do that figure of one plot w comma hw okay omega comma h of omega x axis is omega and this is the function of omega h omega so we'll save it and run it so it's already saved okay so this is the magnitude frequency response we got uh, problem here is we have the x-axis in normalized form we don't want this to be normalized form we uh, it's better we put it in Hertz so how do we put it in Hertz you just multiply this 
omega by the sampling frequency fs and run it so we get x axis in hertz so exactly at two, uh, at 2 kilohertz at 2 kilohertz so it's supposed to be 0 0.707 minus 3 db cut off frequency okay somewhere 0 0.707 here it will get cut off so this is the magnitude frequency response of the filter we de uh, defined let me just give the title for it title magnitude frequency response of the filter design magnitude frequency response x label omega y label h of omega h of omega so let me rerun it so this is the magnitude frequency response and if you want to check the uh, filter coefficient uh, we'll have to go back to console window so this is the 31 order impulse response h of n if you see first sample is equal to last sample second sample is equal to last but one sample third sample is equal to last but two sample and so on this is basically n equal to or n equal to odd and h of n is symmetric so it's a symmetric impulse response fir filter so for the same specification uh, designing a high pass filter is easy instead of just lp you make it as hp and run it you get to see the high pass filter with a cutoff frequency 2 kilohertz okay and impulse response is something like this so in impulse response won't be the same uh, for low pass as well as high pass it depends upon the specification so this is easy here designing a fire filter uh, using window technique in scilab is just a matter of using wfir command so thank you